In a park in New York City, USA, people were doing their usual activities, and a woman who was sitting in a park chair heard a woman scream, but did not know where it came from and she only heard the voice, and it seemed that all the people suddenly stood still like statues. Even the friend next to her stabbed herself in the neck. The construction workers who were originally working, suddenly began to jump from the top of the building as if something possessed them. Elliot, who was a teacher, was teaching his students and the principal called all the teachers to a meeting. The teachers were told that there was poison in the air around the park and that it might spread. The poison is very easy to enter the human body and if exposed to the virus, people will have difficulty speaking, start to lose their way, damage their mind and finally cause death. The students were forced to return home. Julian, who is Elliot's best friend, invited Elliot to go to his mother's place. Elliot went home to prepare the necessary supplies and also invited his wife, Alma, to go with him. They then immediately went to the train station and left with Julian and his daughter, Jess. On the other hand, in a park in Philadelphia, people were exposed to the poison and experienced the same thing. Everyone was silent as a statue and the riders and police committed suicide. The train passengers got the news about the poison and started to panic. And the train was also forced to stop in the middle of the journey because they suddenly couldn't communicate with everyone. It looks like the poison has started to spread and kill many people. The passengers then went to a place to eat for a while and the woman next to Elliot got a video, where the zookeeper man is feeding the lions with his body. And there was television news that said the poison had spread to major cities and that Elliot's position was now in the middle of those cities. Everyone then rushes off. Julian is forced to leave his daughter with Elliot because he wants to find his wife. Elliot, Alma and Jess leave as lovers and gather supplies and food. The man then told Elliot that he felt the poison was coming from a plant because plants can give off chemical compounds. And also plants can respond to stimulation from humans. Julian, who separated from Elliot's group, went to an area called Priceton and saw that people there had died by hanging themselves. Julian then tried to calm a woman who was in the car with him, and told everyone to close the windows and vents so that no air could get in. But when Julian saw that the roof was torn off and knew that his life was about to end, the driver suddenly picked up speed and crashed into a tree. Julian, who was still alive, got out of the car and started cutting his veins with broken glass. Elliot, who was traveling, was surprised to see a human body lying in the distance and decided to take another road. But they met another group from another road and told them that they were also returning because they saw many victims on the road. So they got stuck in the middle of the road. Then they decided to go through the bush and head for a less populated area. Because they felt that the poison was attacking an area with a large human population. And they split into two groups, in the middle of the journey. Alma confided that she had been having an affair with her co-worker and she felt she had to tell Elliot before they died. Elliot was very sad to hear that. On the other hand, the other group heard the sound of the wind and suddenly people started talking strangely and stood still. The military member in that group then took a gun and shot himself. Elliot's group heard the gunshot. They wanted to help the group but it was too dangerous. They then decided to split the group into three parts. When they heard the wind gusts getting louder, they quickly ran to avoid the wind. But strangely they didn't experience anything. Elliot saw a car and checked the car for a map. He also listened to the radio and heard that there was a possibility that the poison came from a nuclear leak. Elliot's group then went to a house but the house only contained fake furniture. Yes naturally all the furniture of the house is fake because what he visited was a model house. After leaving, they saw another group that had just arrived, and one of them committed suicide using a lawnmower. It's a good thing they left the place otherwise they might have died. Elliot talks to Jared and Josh. They ask why Elliot doesn't have any children. Elliot said that Alma still wanted to wait for the right time to have children. Julian once told Elliot that at the beginning of Elliot's marriage, he saw Alma crying because she felt she wasn't ready to get married. They get a radio. The survivors are asked to go to a place. But because the radio had a bad signal, they couldn't hear where they were going. Elliot saw a house and tried to ask the owner for food but the owner refused. Because he was still frightened by the poison in the air and also the government asked people to stay at home and not open the door. But Jared and Josh still forced the owner of the house to open the door in a rough way. Annoyed, the homeowner pulled out a gun and shot Josh when he was caught off guard. Elliot wanted to save him but failed. Then a gun came back out of the window and shot Jared in the head. The homeowner threatens Elliot to leave if he doesn't want to end up like Jared and Josh. In a TV interview, a professor said that the number of cases is growing but according to his calculations, the number of cases is very high. The cases will probably decrease from tomorrow but it is possible that the cases will continue for a long time. People are even starting to assume that this is the work of the CIA because they are experimenting with gas. Elliot, Alma and Jess return to find a house and there is an old woman sitting in front of the house. The old woman invites them in to eat. 
but the old woman has a bad feeling about them. When she hears Elliot and Alma whispering, the old woman asks if they are planning to steal the house, or wanted to kill her while she was sleeping, but Elliot denied it. The next day, Elliot woke up but did not see Alma and Jess. Elliot then searched for them to a room, and found a doll that was quite creepy. The old woman then appeared behind Elliot and said she was right that Elliot wanted to steal something. She asked Elliot to leave the house. Elliot tried to explain that they couldn't leave for a while because the poison in the air was dangerous. But when he saw the old woman in the backyard acting strangely, Elliot realized that the old woman had been exposed to the poison. So he immediately went into the house and locked the door. The old woman suddenly smashed her head against the wall and window and died. Elliot heard the voices of Alma and Jess through the pipe. Alma and Jess turned out to be in the opposite house. Elliot asked Alma to lock the windows and doors because the old woman was dead. They then talk about their past because of that. Elliot then decides to leave the house to go to Alma no matter what happens because he loves her. But they didn't experience anything. Three months later, life in America was back to normal and Alma was pregnant. On television, a professor was seen explaining that it turns out that this poison phenomenon is indeed a chemical compound that comes from plants and trees. But according to him, the incident was a warning to humans because humans were a threat to the earth so the poison had to be released to kill humans. At the end of the movie, in a country, there is a man who hears a woman screaming and people return to silence like statues. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.